We have to prove that the absolute value of x is not differentiable at 0. So, uh, proof. So we'll start by looking at the limit. As x approaches c of f of x minus f of c over x minus c. So this is what we have to use. So if a function is differentiable at c, then this limit will exist. So in our case, f of x is the square root of x, and c is 0. So let's just write everything down. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x, that's the absolute value of x, minus f of 0. So, so let me come over here and write it. f of 0, because c is 0, f of 0 is the absolute value of 0, which is 0. So this is just 0. Then here we have x minus 0. So we end up with the limit as x approaches 0 of the absolute value of x over x. So now what we'll do is we'll get rid of the absolute value. So I'm going to do this on the side over here. So recall the absolute value of x is equal to, well, it is a piecewise function. So it's just x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's the opposite of x, or negative x, if x is less than 0. So what we'll do is we'll take one-sided limits. So first, let's take the limit from the left. So we'll look at the limit as x approaches 0 from the left. In this case, x is less than 0, so we have minus x over x, right? If if this is 0 and we're approaching from the left, so here's x. So x is less than 0. So if x is less than 0, we're using this piece here. So the absolute value of x just becomes negative x. So this is the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of negative 1. Well, that's just negative 1. So now we're going to do the same thing, but take the limit from the right-hand side. So now... Let's take the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. In this case, the absolute value of x is x. So you get x over x. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. Oh, I wrote left, I meant right. That's 1. So you just get 1. All right, since the one-sided limits are not the same, so here we end up with negative 1. Here we get 1. So our regular limit does not exist. So our limit does not exist, so our function is not differentiable. So f of x equals the absolute value of x is not differentiable at c equals 0. But it is continuous there.